In the late 1800s, the American West was a place where lawlessness reigned supreme, and outlaws were both feared and honored. Among the most notorious, the Sundance Kid, who, with his accomplice, Butch Cassidy, formed one of the most successful and feared gangs of all time. The Sundance Kid, whose real name is Harry Alonzo Longabog, is known for his sharpshooting skills, daring thefts, and ability to evade the law. But what drove this outlaw into a life of crime, and what is the real story behind his notorious crimes? In this video, we'll take a closer look at the Sundance Kid's life and legend and dive into the stories behind his most notorious crimes. Harry Alonzo Longabaugh, who would later become known as the infamous Sundance Kid, was born in 1867 in Montclair, Pennsylvania. He's the youngest of five children born to Josiah and Annie G. Longabaugh, both natives of Pennsylvania. At the age of 15, Harry began his journey west in a covered wagon with his cousin George to help settle George's house near Cortez, Colorado. While in Colorado, Harry found work as a horse breeder on a neighboring farm where he honed his skills in buying and raising horses. However, he soon left Cortez in 1886 to become independent, drifting north and doing various jobs. In the end, he returned to the ranch, working like a true cowboy. During this time, the American West was a region of rapid growth and transformation, with many people moving west in search of new opportunities. It was also a period of severe lawlessness as borders were largely unchecked and outlaws roamed freely. Harry Longabaugh, like many young men of his time, was drawn to the excitement and adventure of the West as well as the opportunities it offered. In the late 1800s, the American West was a hotbed of criminal activity, and the Sundance Kid was one of them. In 1887, while passing 3V Ranch near Sundance, Wyoming, the Sundance Kid stole a cowboy's gun, horse, and saddle, and was eventually apprehended by authorities in Mile City, Montana. Judge William L. Magnus sentenced him to 18 months in prison, and it was during this time that Harry Alonzo Longabaugh adopted the nickname Sundance Kid. After being released from prison, Sundance Kid returned to work as a farm manager. He eventually found himself at the Bar U Farm in Canada's Northwest Territories in 1891, which was one of the largest commercial camps at the time. Harry became the joint owner of a pub in the Grand Central Hotel in Calgary, but an argument with his partner led him to move south to Montana. There, the Sundance Kid took another job on a farm and began herding cattle and horses. Longabaugh is suspect, suspected of being involved in two major robberies during his outlaw life. The first was a train robbery in 1892 and the second was a bank robbery in 1897. He's a member of the notorious gang called the Wild Bunch, led by the talented Butch Cassidy. The two get along and treat each other like brothers. The group also had Kid Curry, also known as Harvey Logan, a man with a very brutal personality. Although Longabaugh was a skilled marksman, he had no confirmed murders until a violent shooting incident in Bolivia, where he and Cassidy were believed to be involved in the one death of several law enforcement officers. Despite this, Kid Curry and the group is known for brutal murders while with the gang. Longabaugh was involved in various famous gunfights with lawyers who tracked the Wild Bunch to their hideout at hole in the wall in Wyoming. Two men were injured in the gunfight and Longabaugh is believed to be one of them. This gang is responsible for the deaths of several people including five law enforcement officers who were killed by Kid Curry. The Wild Bunch's exploits have brought them national notoriety and rewards of up to $30,000 are awarded for information leading to their capture or destruction. 
Longabar, and Logan use a log cabin at Old Trail Town in Cody, Wyoming as a hideout to plan their next bank robbery in Red Lodge, Montana. They then moved to the infamous Hole in the Wall hideout near Casey, Wyoming, where they were able to attack and retreat without fear of capture thanks to their elevated position and panoramic views of the area. The infamous duo have been on the run for years and are being hunted down by the legendary detective Charlie Seringo. Fearing Arrest Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid, and Cassidy's mistress at a place fled the United States aboard the British ship Herminius bound for Buenos Aires, Argentina on February 20th, 1901. Despite being relentlessly pursued by law enforcement, Wild Bunch have evaded capture for years thanks to their strategic hideout and cunning tactics. The decision to flee the United States was a wise move as the law was closing in on them. With several law enforcement officers killed in their thefts, bounties hang over their heads and authorities are determined to bring them to justice. But their escape to Argentina did not mark the end as they continued their criminal lives in South America. In 1905, a man named Frank Boyd shot and killed a police officer in Antofagasta, Chile. The man was actually the shrewd Sundance in disguise. But he was still re-arrested because of the ingenuity of the detectives who investigated. After being released on bail, he received support from the U.S. Deputy Council in Antofagasta and fled to Argentina before settling in Bolivia. It was only in 2022, after the digitization of the old newspaper Antofagasta, El Industrial, that this revelation came to light. This discovery sheds light on the life of the legendary outlaw and his actions while on the run. During a pay delivery to a courier to the Aramayo Franque y Sia silver mine in Bolivia on November 3, 1908, two mysterious masked American robbers attacked and robbed him. They then make their way to the mining town of San Vicente, where they take refuge in a small inn owned by Bonifacio Casasola, a miner. However, Casasola became suspicious of them after noticing a mule labeled Armayo Mine at the scene and alerted a nearby telegraph operator. The officer notified a three-soldier unit led by Captain Justo Concha, who then alerted the local authorities. When the soldiers arrived at the inn, the mysterious bandits opened fire, killing one soldier and injuring another. This led to a fierce gun battle between the authorities and the bandits. At that time, the scene was very chaotic, dust and gun smoke everywhere. During a lull in the shooting, police and soldiers heard a man screaming from inside the house at around 2 a.m. Then they heard a gunshot from inside the house and the screaming stopped. A few minutes later, another shot rang out. The next morning, the new soldiers raided deep into the room. They found two dead bodies. One was shot in the temple while the other was shot in the arm and leg. According to the police report, it seems that one of the robbers killed his accomplice to help his friend get out of a miserable situation before turning the gun on himself, determined to kill himself with the last bullet. Local authorities were unable to identify the bandits and they were buried in the San Vicente Cemetery. Forensic anthropologist, Clyde Snow attempted to locate their remains in 1991, but he did not find any DNA that matched Parker or Longabas' relatives. The life and death of the Sundance Kid continues to be shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Despite being one of the Old West's most notorious outlaws, there are still unanswered questions about his death. While some believe he died in a gunfight in Bolivia in 1908, Others claim that he survived and lived his days under a different identity. Evidence surrounding Longaba's death is scarce and often contradictory. Some historians suggest that the man killed in the gunfight was not Longaba at all, 
but a mysterious unknown bandit. However, this hypothesis has largely been disproved due to eyewitness accounts and forensic evidence from the scene. Another theory is that Longebach faked his death and returned to the United States under a new identity. This theory is fueled by reports of a man named William Henry Long living in Utah under suspicious circumstances. However, DNA testing did not confirm a link between Longebach and Long. It's also possible that Longebach died in the gunfight, but his body was never identified or accurately documented. This is a common occurrence in the Old West, where violence and lawlessness are prevalent. It is possible that Longobah's true fate will never be known for certain. The story of the Sundance Kid is one of the most intriguing and controversial in the history of the Old West. Despite his reputation as a daring outlaw, there are still many questions surrounding his death and whether he really died in that Bolivian shooting. While some believe he survived and lived the rest of his life in secret, the lack of concrete evidence makes these theories difficult to confirm. However, the Sundance Kid's legacy lives on, and his notorious crimes and daring escapes continue to capture the imaginations of people today. Whether or not he actually died in that Bolivian gunfight, one thing is for sure, the Sundance Kid will always be remembered as a true Old West legend. Please share and like if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.